What's up guys, it's John and uh, I'm back with the Viridian update. I know a few of you wanted to see it. <laughs> a lot of people in that last video told me that, oh dude, you should have just put Loctite on it. You should have just put Loctite on it. Well, first of all, I was missing the screws. They fell completely out and were not inside the holster, which didn't make a lot of sense to me. And second of all, you're missing the point if you said that. The point of the video was to test out Viridian's customer service, and on top of that, they wanted me to send the product back. It wasn't like they were like, okay, we're going to send you some replacement screws, and you can put some Loctite on them, and that'll be that. They wanted to make sure that their product was going to uh, function well or, uh, you know, kind of be put together like it should be. So I think it was a good thing that they wanted me to send it back, and I didn't see it as a problem, but uh, a lot of people certainly didn't understand that. So... There's the HK45, here is the empty box, let me uh, sort this out here, here's the empty box with all the pieces in it that normally comes in it, big deal, you know, whoopee dee doo. Now, there is the box they sent me, so let's take out the packaging, I cut the top off because it was useless and in the way. What's cool is, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but they sent me uh, a whole new box and uh, tactical energy. <laughs> oh, that is a, oh, wow. So they sent me three batteries, which is cool. And I'm willing to bet that this might be a new laser. So more propaganda, warranty card, or product registration. That's not a warranty card. That's different. Okay and under the foam i'm basically trying to see how much different this is than the original packaging i got there's yet another battery some more uh, rails i guess you would call that and oh they have a different method of attaching them which is interesting these rails are actually different than the ones i have so I believe this is still my, yeah, this looks like it's still got some of the dust and whatnot from when I had it. So this is still my same laser. They just, I guess, refreshed it, updated it. Um, let's see if it has a battery in it. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you should be able to see that on my hand. Apparently it's got a, a fresh battery in it because I sent it without a battery. And uh, so that's a total of five batteries because they sent me this. They sent me this tactical energy pack. <laughs> oh, that is that is classic. And it appears that now they have these little Allen screws. I got a couple extras here holding holding the thing together. Because before this was a push pin, I'll show you. Let me slide the new one out of the way, the new setup and show you the old setup. Okay, so this is how it came before. This was their little push pin thing. And as you can see here, there's a hole for the push pin. And this basically slid in through here and went through the entire laser. So that's interesting that they sent that and Allen keys for adjustment that I have. And they did send new ones, new Allen keys for adjustment, which is cool. Uh, got the crossbar. It's basically a new setup minus the core of my actual laser, which uh, I think is kind of cool that they sent all that stuff. I guess it's a, you know, we're sorry we screwed up, so here's a bunch of free stuff. I'm going to go ahead and mount this on the HK, and uh, we'll check back in a second. So just for comparison, this right here is the old one, and this is the new one with the Allen screw in it. So it looks like what they did is basically took out or re-threaded where the slide pin went through before, right in there. Interesting. So overall, I think Viridian did a very good job here. They sent me a new bunch of stuff. They got me updated to their current system. Uh, you may notice that that screw is not all the way in. It's because I don't have a screwdriver out here because I am an idiot. And uh, long story short, only time will tell if this is going to function correctly. I actually had a trusted gun shop tell me that they no longer stock Viridian products because they had had so many issues with them. Me personally, I'm happy with this. I like the fact that they updated this. Uh, like I said, only time will tell if this will last. But uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.